Welcome to BDSM Dungeon Play. Tonight we're going to take a look at spanking, the beginning of a short spanking series. And to talk about spanking, let's start by looking at some of the implements of the trade. I've got a whole bunch of paddles laid out here. Probably the number one implement for doing a good spanking is the bare hand. I'm just going to simply say if you do bare handed spanking, uh, don't spank with a flat palm, but cup your hand. Otherwise, you could end up hurting yourself more than you're hurting the person you're spanking and leave blood blisters on your hand. I've done that. So cup your hand if you're going to do barehanded spanking. Well, let's take a look at these implements. And I, I kind of divide them into two different categories. One are what I call pervertibles. A pervertible is something that was designed to be used for some vanilla purpose, but we look at it and we go, wow, that might be interesting to use in a paddling sink, like the shower brush. You've got the bristles on one side are gonna create one kind of sensation, and the other side of that brush is a nice, hard, wooden, uh, lollipop-shaped paddle. Okay, that's gonna, gonna leave quite a sting or quite a sensation. As a general rule of thumb with paddles, the smaller the surface area of the paddle, the stingier it's gonna be, the less uh, force you have to use to get the reaction that you want. Uh, the larger the surface area of the paddle, obviously it's gonna spread the impact out more. Uh, so for example, this began its life as a small pizza shovel made by Faberware. Well, I took one side of it and I glued a piece of leather on it. And on the flip side of it, I glued some non-skid like you would put on a, you know, a stair tread. So two different sensations, but the size of this paddle is going to spread out the impact. So this is not going to be generally as stingy as perhaps the shower brush was. So we'll get that concept out of the way. Let's go through some more of these, what I call pervertibles. This began its life just simply as a rubber spatula, but it's a fairly large spatula and it makes a loud noise. So you're not only playing with the impact, but you're playing with the sound when you play with something like that. This is a a shovel for the barbecue grill to uh, turn a piece of steak, but it looks like a nice, when I saw that over in the, the uh, outdoor grill section, it looked to me like it should be a paddle. Uh, this began itself, its life as a piece of fire hose, and we simply took, oh, maybe three or four foot of fire hose, doubled it over, and I took some hockey tape and wrapped it around and made a paddle out of it. This paddle can be used this way. You could turn it sideways and hit with it and you get a completely different sensation. This is an old timey larder butter scoop, but it makes a nice pocket paddle. The reason it makes a nice pocket paddle is because it's curved and when you put it in your back pocket, it fits the shape of your, your butt, so when you sit down, not only does it not break the paddle, but it doesn't hurt your butt, but when you use it, it fits perfectly the curve of the butt of the person that you're spanking. So that actually is a very nice paddle that began its life originally as a butter old-timey butter scoop or large scoop. Uh, this came, obviously, from Bass Pro Shop. It's a miniature oar, which I guess was originally designed for kids to use when they're playing. Uh, but that's the perfect size for a wooden paddle, another pervertible. The old wooden spoon, it's cupped. If you hit it with it that way, if you hit with the back of the spoon, it's, it's a different sensation. A uh, ping pong paddle with the uh, rubber pimples, or the pimps. And these break pretty easily, but they usually come in sets of four. 
so you get a paddle plus three spares. This began its life just simply as a winter mitt, and but it creates a nice sensation. So if you're spanking, you can actually spank with this or rub this on the area after you've spanked, and it creates a nice sensation when you're doing a paddling scene. These gloves, I believe, were originally meant to be used uh, in the kitchen when handling, or a commercial kitchen when handling meat. Uh, they have a textured surface and they're kind of rubberized and insulated or maybe it was used in, in for washing dishes so you wouldn't drop the dishes as you're, you're washing them. But again, for spanking, sensation play on the skin, uh, that's a nice application. This came from the dollar store and again it was a a small bread or, or pizza shovel and I just simply took a piece of rabbit fur and glued around it to create a nice soft fluffy paddle. Not all paddles have to be hard. So that kind of covers the gamut of the pervertibles. Hopefully we'll just get your your imagination spinning and you'll be able to see things in Home Depot. Uh, in the dollar store, uh, in Walmart, Kmart, wherever you're shopping, that you go, hmm, that began its life as a wooden spoon, but I think that would make a great addition to my toy bag when I know I'm gonna be doing a spanking scene. So in the next video, we're gonna talk about paddles that were made specifically with the lifestyle uh, in mind and some craftsman's creativity. Uh, we'll show, showcase those in our next segment.